Hi guys, welcome to my channel Math Army. Two water taps together can fill a tank in 9 3 by 8 hours. The tap of larger diameter takes 10 hours less than the smaller one to fill the tank respectively. Find the time in which each tap can separately fill the tank. Guys, this question is getting repeatedly asked in every examinations. Okay, so pay attention. So what is the total time uh, that is uh, taken to fill the tank? It is taking 9 3 by 8 hours, right? So let me write that statement first. Total time taken to fill tank is equal to 9 3 by 8. So I'll be transferring this 9 3 by 8 to improper fraction. So 8 into 9 is 72 plus 375 divided by 8. Okay, this is what the actual time it is taking to fill the tank when you're filling with two taps together. And in case if I'm going to fill the tank only with a smaller diameter tap, okay, how much time it is going to take? It is going to take x hours okay smaller uh, let me write it as tap instead of tank okay smaller tap will take x hours and the bigger diameter tap is going to take 10 hours less right that means if the smaller one takes x hours the bigger diameter tap is going to take 10 hours less than smaller one. So I will be writing x minus 10 hours. Fine. So this is based on the total time. But in case if I calculate the same on a hourly basis, how much time is taken to fill the tank? It is going to take 1 divided by 75 divided by 8. So I am going to represent the same numbers, the three steps which I have just written in per hour basis. Guys, per hour basis, don't forget that. No. So time taken to fill the tank on an hourly basis is going to be 1 divided by 75 by 8 and 8 goes to the numerator so the new equation fraction would be 8 divided by 75 now if I have taken for the total tank so what happens for one tap smaller tap it is going to take 1 by x hours right okay so what happens for the bigger diameter tap it is going to take 1 divided by x minus 10 hours. Now, so because this small tap and bigger tap has been calculated on a hourly basis, now I can equate these two to the 8 divided by 75. So 1 by x plus 1 by x minus 10 is going to equal to 8 divided by 75. So focus on the left hand side guys. Do an LCM. So the LCM would be x multiplied with x minus 10. And now on calculating I will be getting numerator as x minus 10 plus x which is equal to 8 divided by 75. And now x and x on the left hand side is 2x minus 10 on the denominator x multiplied with x minus 10 which is equal to 8 divided by 75 guys focus on the left hand side which is 2x minus 10 i just want to simplify a little bit i want to take 2 common so if i remove 2 out of the equation i will be getting x minus 5 right and then i am not going to touch the denominator it will be as is now on the right hand side it is 8 divided by 75. Now I can strike off 2, 8 in 4 times. 
Now do a cross multiplication. You will be getting 75 multiplied with x minus 5. And on the right hand side, 4, this uh, denominator x square minus 10x. Okay, on multiplying these two, I will be getting x square minus 10x. And now multiply them. 75 into x is. I hope you got it right. Um, now let's proceed further. 75 into x is 75x minus 75 into 5 is 375 equal to 4x square minus 40x. Guys, uh, we are having a x square on the right side. So it is a higher degree. So I'll be moving 75x and minus 375 to the right hand side. So I'll be pushing all these elements to the right hand side. So I'll be getting 4x square minus 40x and plus 75 becomes minus 75x and minus 375 becomes plus 375 which is equal to 0. And now I solve this 4x square and minus 40 and minus 75 is minus 115x plus 375 equal to 0. Now do a factorization in such a way that you need to split the middle term and uh, I just split it and I am getting minus 100x and minus 15x plus 375 equal to 0. Now take 4x common so you will be left with x minus 4 no guys a uh, small correction it is not x minus 4 it is uh, if 4 is taken out it is 25 because only 4x is taken out x minus 25 and here also if I take minus 15 as common it is x minus 25 as a common sorry for that now therefore the factors are x minus 25 and the second one would be 4x minus 15 and now equate them to 0 these two factors so I'll be getting x value as 25 and the second one as x is equal to 15 divided by 4 so what happens if I take x is equal to 25 second one is x minus 10 right so it is going to take 15 so the smaller tap is going to take 25 hours and the bigger diameter tap is going to take 15 hours what if uh, x is equal to 15 by 4? x minus 10 would be 15 minus 4 minus 10. So on calculating, I will be getting a denominator as 4 and the numerator as 15 minus 40. So guys, here I am getting uh, the number as 4, negative. Sorry. So, you know, this situation is impossible to arise because there should be a number of hours should be always be in the positive term. So, x is equal to 15 by 4 is not going to exist. So, therefore, the smaller diameter tap is going to take 25 hours and the bigger diameter tap is going to take 15 hours. That's it, guys. You know, I know um, it is a little bit complex one. And I wish uh, you to practice at least two to three times, um, you know, to get the command over these kind of problems. And it is a very must problem in the CBSC uh, paper and that too in the four mark section. So I wish all the best and see you in the next video. Bye for now. Thank you guys.